Spooky CIA documents from the days during and after World War II appear to validate the claim that the Nazi party had alien technology in the form of high-speed craft that is far faster than any known aerodynamics of today. Wait till you hear this. Unsealed documents from the U.S. spy agency reveal intelligence officials probed claims about Adolf Hitler's advanced technology. Nazi flying saucers appear twice in the CIA's trove of documents as part of their investigations into UFOs. CIA spooks mark the information as unevaluated, but the claims made in the files are extraordinary. Modern myths have long been associated with Hitler's secret technology, with outrageous claims going as far to allege the Nazis landed on the moon. Adolf Hitler's crew of astronauts allegedly flew to the orbital body in an exo-atmospheric rocket saucer as early as 1942. Conspiracy theorist Vladimir Trzinski claims to have evidence of the Third Reich's successful trip to the moon. So proclaimed as an engineer and physicist, the Bulgarian researcher alleges Hitler's spacemen colonized part of the lunar surface. Files reveal claims the Nazis had a flying saucer that was capable of reaching heights of 12,400 meters in three minutes, with speeds of up to 2,500 miles per hour. CIA files compiled interviews with a German engineer named George Klein from between March 11 and May 20, 1952. Declassified files recount his testimony, which was published in newspapers in Greece, Iran, and the Congo. Klein claims the Third Reich actually successfully carried out a test of their flying saucer in Prague on Valentine's Day 1945. The Czech capital was liberated just months later by the Soviet Union's advancing Red Army. CIA files reveal Klein claimed that the aircraft reached an altitude of 12,400 meters within three minutes and a speed of 1,370 miles per hour. He claimed the saucer could theoretically reach speeds of 2,500 miles per hour, which is more than three times the speed of sound. Exceeding Mach 3 would make the Nazi saucer almost twice as fast as the state-of-the-art F-35 warplane being rolled out in the U.S. and U.K. Klein claimed the saucer could take off vertically like a helicopter and had been in development since 1941. Modern myth links the development of Nazi saucers and experimental aircraft to the outbreak of the UFO phenomenon. Some claim the remnants of the Third Reich fled to South America under the guidance of SS Commander Hans Kammler. From secret bases in the Antarctic, the Nazis are claimed to continue testing their experimental weapons. UFO sightings from the area are alleged to be secret tests of experimental technology by the Nazis. It is well documented that this was a time when all the nations involved in World War II were mobilized in the development of heavily advanced technologies, trying to stay one step in front of their enemy constantly and leading to quantum advances in technological brilliance, which eventually would spread across the entire planet commercially. Is it inconceivable that the Nazis found advanced technology and were able to develop this technology incredibly fast? Perhaps this fell into the hands of the Russians before it did the Allies, and perhaps the Roswell incident was a crashed Russian UFO trying to use alien technology, and this is where it fell into American hands. Just a thought. As the Nazis tightened their grip on Germany in the 30s, the leader of the SS attended a presentation in Berlin. Heinrich Himmler could barely contain his excitement as a young archaeologist spouted an outlandish theory. He claimed to know the location of the mythical city of Atlantis, where a master race had lived before their paradise was engulfed by the Great Flood, but a handful of survivors escaped and roamed the far corners of the Earth sowing the seeds of their civilization. For Himmler and his cronies, it was the perfect solution. At the heart of their Nazi creed was the conviction that the Aryan race, from which true Germans was said to be descended, was superior to all others. Yet there was one huge stumbling block. No one had ever uncovered any temples, scriptures, or artifacts to prove this ancient civilization existed. But if they found the evidence, the Nazis could establish their own religion to replace Christianity. For the next decade, Himmler led a shadowy project devoted to this bizarre theory, an SS unit called the Ancestral Heritage, 
comprising archaeologists and scientists scoured the globe hunting for proof of the lost Aryans of Atlantis. Also driving this secret mission was the lure of securing the greatest prize of all, the Holy Grail. The work only came to light in 1945 when U.S. soldiers uncovered thousands of files in a cave in central Germany. The contents were to shed light on why the Nazis started the Holocaust. He believed the discovery of similar looking symbols in different parts of the world was no coincidence. Linking them was a single race which had lived in Atlantis in the Atlantic Ocean, somewhere between Portugal and Britain. An expedition was ordered to prove that survivors from Atlantis had fled to high parts of the world, determined never again to be caught out by the sea. He was sure descendants were living in Tibet. Sir Richard Evans, a historian at Cambridge University, says, The Nazis saw world history in terms of a struggle between races and survival of the fittest. They thought all races were inferior to the Aryans. Himmler wanted to press forward with a new religion, including sun worship and old gods. He wanted the SS to become a kind of cult, or Aryan aristocracy. In Tibet, the SS team set about studying the local people. Using a checklist of facial features, they concluded that the Tibetans were descended from the Aryans. When members of the expedition arrived back in Munich a few weeks before the outbreak of war in 1939, they were treated like heroes. Is it possible that during these expeditions, the Nazis found high technology that may not have been perceived as technology from the mind of a non-scientific civilization? What's going on guys? There is so much out there in terms of the ancient past and lost technology. It is almost like there is a struggle on this planet today to find these riches in order to advance civilization forward to a point in history that we were more advanced than we are today. The signs are literally everywhere, staring right at us in the face. Let us know below what you are thinking, and as always, thank you for watching. The German social project was an offshoot of their advanced aviation uh, and space research and development. Uh, disbelieving at the beginning the existence of German saucers, I made a thorough search of uh, books on advanced German aerospace technology and what I discovered was astonishing. Uh, the Germans were the first to develop, uh, seriously to develop the rocket engines the turbojet engine, the pulse jet, the ramjet. They were the first to test a rocket-powered airplane in flight, a rocket-powered, uh, a turbojet-powered, and a pulse jet-powered airplane, piloted planes. Uh, they the, were the first one to introduce them in combat service. That's all what we know. Uh, they also developed the flying wing. They developed the flying wing, the Horton brothers. Uh, they developed a turbojet flying wing. They were working on monstrous intercontinental bombers of, of bizarre designs. I have several hundred slides of, that I've taken from books from the public domain of designs that were so ahead. Mm -hmm. uh, the Germans developed, according to some even more advanced rumors, they developed the time machine. Uh, according to other rumors, the bombs that were thrown over Hiroshima and Nagasaki were German. The American project went along other lines and the bombs that were produced were much bulky, bulkier and impossible to load on an airplane. Uh, a light emitting rocket hit the moon in 1938, unmanned rocket. Mm -hmm. A light emitting propulsion that I've never heard of, different from anti-gravity, different from rocket propulsion, probably very economic. Free energy, quite because you can't load car batteries to power the laser that would emit the light to take the rocket to the moon, obviously. Uh, in 52, German engineers built for Juan Perón a uh, cold fusion electricity producing plant in Argentina. Flying discs that were powered by conventional engines, basically. By the engine, not, not same, no, no, same engine that they, they used for the Messerschmitt 262 fighter. Which they, would be a conventional engine, conventional rather than an exotic... Air, no, 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 conventional turbojet engine mm -hmm. running on mundane, uh, low-grade aviation kerosene. 